Here are some of my first uh, 6.5 Creedmoor reloads. Um, 123 grain, Nosler Custom Competition, 38 grains of Varget, uh, Sea Sky Large Rifle Primer, um, and I got 50 rounds today because I bought 50 Hornady brass and I need to fire form them to my chamber. So I'm not expecting amazing accuracy, but I should be getting sub MOA, which is enough to hit any of the steel I have around here. So I'll do that. And uh, first shots will be just on paper, just to uh, confirm my zero and you know, do the normal accuracy stuff that I always do before I shoot. Barrel cool down a bit. Honestly, it's such a hot day, the barrel probably didn't cool down at all. But see you the next time. Kidding me? <sighs> that last round, though, wasn't even close. Well, that one's the first group I shot, and just about an inch, which means less than an inch. When you subtract the bullet diameter. Uh, this is the second one I shot, and those are the first four, and that was the last one, which is why I said fuck, and I did not pull that, so it would have been, you know, a half inch group, because that's three quarters, but now it's uh, one and a quarter, so that's probably an inch group, just about, just over an inch. Still. Fuck that. that. That was ridiculous. I did not pull that shot. I got a new steel target, a new steel torso from a new steel supplier this time. Uh, 
I'm not gonna name them until I find out whether this stuff is good or not. But it was a good deal. Uh, so I have it set up down there and I'm gonna put five of these into it, I guess. Helps if you chamber around. That held up pretty well actually. The tiniest little dimples, but that's sort of to be expected. Um, and this is this is basically not movable. Uh, also, of course, I put it against my wood, and I I've destroyed my wood again. But barely nothing. And if we compare those hits to my normal rifle steel. Yeah, just about as deep. Yeah, but here's the actual test. These ones are much worse. Poor quality steel. But this new one, this new one was cheaper and it appears to be better. So, I guess I'll buy more from these guys. Those guys. It's doing about inch groups at 100, uh, so we'll take it out to three. That should be no problem. But this is more to uh, estimate my zeros here. Um, so let's go up. Three MOA, I guess. No, not very fast. All right, we'll do three MOA. And we'll see how these uh, how these shots land. Of course, that tree branch that was in the way down there still in the way. I haven't gotten around to it yet. I can see through my scope, it's quite windy out there. But there's no wind here. And, and that's why it's difficult, because you can't even judge what the wind's doing unless you can actually see the grass out there. Okay. I look to have gone exactly where I wanted it to, which is good. Even with the wind. That's weird.
adjusted the cameras, so I'm going to shoot at 440 now. Uh, it was three and a half minutes up. This one should be, we'll call it six and a half. That should be spot on. Yeah, we'll do six and a half. It's actually probably closer to seven, but we'll find out. Still windy as shit out there. It is also incredibly hot. It's like 80 some degrees right now. I'm dying. Okay, center plate. No wind hold. <laughs> Low right. Which sort of makes sense. Bring it up and then we'll right here. I mean, maybe it was just shooting low right there, but unlikely. This is a lighter bullet than I'm used to. So it's gonna drop more. Okay. <clears throat> well, I hit them all, obviously. Like, this gun can easily hit them all. This range. But, uh, six and a half was not correct. It's, I moved it up to seven and a half, and that seems to be right. Yeah. Seven and a half seems to be right. Um, probably seven and three quarters. I should do. Okay. <clears throat> Seven and three quarters, then. <sighs> okay, now I'm gonna have to pull out my ballistic calculator. Because. Actually, how many rounds? 25 rounds? Yeah. I'm gonna step it back to 550. We'll shoot up there. Like it, I, I am gonna have to look up the drop table. Well, I'll put my numbers in and then figure out the drop table, I should say. <laughs> 